How are you feeling? This seemed like a really good idea five minutes ago. <laughs> Hello, welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're covering stage two of Finnish Brutality 2021, the continuation where Kansanuno, or something to that effect. My Finnish really isn't that good. I know, Perkele! And after that, it drops off pretty freaking fast. Uh, but what did you have to do on this stage? Well, you had two trenches in front of you end to end. And uh, those trenches were full of ice cold water about belly button deep. Yeah, no big deal, right? Uh, there were three firing ports like you were in a trench. And you went to your port. You looked at the target that was directly in front of it, which was roughly about a two-thirds size uh, steel ipsic target. Uh, one shot. Engage. That's all you got. If you didn't get it in your one shot, you moved on to the next port. And you had to do that 13 times in 3 minutes. Now the good thing was that if you went and got your hit, you got a 15 second bonus. It wasn't a penalty. You had a 15 second bonus. If you missed, you missed. You moved on to the next port. Hopefully try to pick one up then. The stage was over in 3 minutes or if you picked up 13 hits. Uh, spoiler alert, some people did it, but not a lot. Here, let's take a look at the run and talk about it on the backside. Jump in, stop in. Record! Yeah. Yeah. Ready! 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 Stand by! Get the rifle to me. Next. Well, it was a somewhat less than optimal performance. 
You you done well. Let's you survived. I did. Yeah. Yes, I have that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where we can put it? Um, right there. Yeah. You're welcome. You passed it. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. First thing you may have noticed is that I was in shorts and a t-shirt, and. Uh, yeah, on retrospect, that probably wasn't the best idea ever, considering it was freezing cold water. The outside temperature was 32 degrees or zero C. Um, yeah, not, not, not my best idea ever. And to be fair, there were several Finns who warned me against doing this. And their thing was that if you go in fully clothed, your clothing layer actually creates a layer of warmth as your body heat begins to warm up the water trapped in there, much like a wetsuit. Um, yeah, I chose to ignore that. Uh, one, for actually practical reasons, was I didn't bring a lot of gear with me, and once my gear got wet, it was going to stay wet. So I figured by putting on a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and my go-fasters that, you know, my boots were staying dry, my uniform was staying dry-ish. I mean, it's kind of a relative term. But I wasn't soaked, uh, the clothes I wore wasn't, wasn't soaked to the bone, because this was only the second stage of the day and I had four to go. So that was the practical reason, and the uh, impractical reason was just, you know, being a Marine, hurrah, we're going to do this, um, was the other reason to do it in PT shorts and a shirt. Again, maybe not the best idea ever. However, let's get to the stage. Um, so you jumped in. As soon as you were in, you let the RO know you're ready, and then he hit the buzzer, and as soon as the buzzer went, off you go. So you get your first hit at the port, cross that trench, between the two trenches is a small little spit of land that you have to crawl over. Once you've crawled over it, you're into a new trench full of icy water that's uh, belly button deep. And then you proceed to get your hits on the two firing ports there and then go back and forth like a typewriter for three minutes or until 13 hits come. So, what was it like? You know, it was really cold and cold can affect your aim. Uh, I know the first two shots I missed were straight up missing because I was shivering. Uh, but on the third, when I got my first hit out of seven, I got seven total, uh, confidence started to come back. Uh, the problems after that with the hits not coming were the fact that as I jumped in, slipped down and everything, splashed some water up, some got on the lens of my MRO, some got on the lens of my shooting glasses, and that created just a little enough in distortion, plus gray targets against a snowy, gray, muddy background. Some of them were, like, really hard to see, and I just flat out missed because I was launching a bullet to where I thought the target should be, and obviously it wasn't there. But that's why they call this a brutality match, and uh, this is a stage where it's a good idea to embrace the suck. This is the stage that they were trying to fill everybody full of dread with. By the way, it worked. Uh, and it was also the stage that once completed, everybody had a sense of accomplishment. And kudos to Varos Taleka, because when you came out, after you cleared your weapon and everything and turned around, they handed you this. A little tab for your uniform that says hypothermia, so you can prove that you did it. You got it, and you survived. We hope you're finding this coverage of Finnish Brutality 2021, the continuation war, helpful and informative. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in tomorrow for Stage 3.